Good morning, boys and girls. I am so glad that you can join me here this morning for our Good Friday service. Maybe if you look really carefully, you will notice that there's something different behind me. I'll give you a minute to look. Did you find it? Yes, there's a black cloth on the cross today because it's Good Friday. The Lent season has ended and now we have a, a special a celebration, but it's sort of a sad celebration today. Good Friday is the day that we remember when Jesus was crucified, when he died on the cross. But we call it Good Friday because even though it was a sad time for Jesus' friends and his family, and it's sad when we think about somebody dying, it's good because it was the Lord Jesus and it was part of God's plan for us to be saved from our sin and to be able to spend all of eternity with him in heaven. So it's Good Friday today, and I'm so glad that you're here. You know, a few weeks ago when we had our last service at church before everything happened and we're at home now, I was thinking, I wonder if I would have said or done anything different if I had known that I wouldn't be seeing you for a long time. I wonder if I would have done anything different down in disciple land or if I would have had anything different that I said. I think the thing that I said last as I was leaving church on that last Sunday was probably something like, come on girls, let's go home and get some lunch. I'm pretty sure that that's what I would have said. I wonder if I would have said something different if I had known that would be my last thing to say here for a while. The Lord Jesus knew that his time on earth was coming to an end. And he had some things that he said last. We would say his last words. The Bible records seven things that Jesus said last. And Pastor Bobby's going to preach a message about those last things. So I hope that you'll put on your careful listening ears and you'll pay attention and see if you can find all seven things that Jesus said at the end, right before he died. Because the last things that we say are important. They have special meaning. And certainly the last things Jesus said were important too. And then let's think about that as we go about our day. What are the things that we are saying? The words that come out of our mouth, we can't put them back in. So we want to make sure that the things we say are helpful words, words that encourage other people, words that have meaning. We want to be careful what we say. We also want to think about maybe this is the last time I'm going to do a certain thing and make sure that we're thinking about the significance of our words. But most importantly, let's always look to the Lord Jesus. What did he do? What did he say? Why is it important? What does it mean for you and for me today? And we can remember that. So I'd like to pray for you now um, on this Good Friday. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are in charge of all things. And even on a Good Friday that seems like it maybe wouldn't be such a good day at all, really it's part of your good plan and you can work it all out. And we thank, you for, we thank you for that. We thank you for the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. Thank you for loving us so much that you gave yourself. Thank you for the last words that you chose to speak and that they are recorded in the Bible for us to read and learn from today. Please encourage our hearts. Help our words to bring life to the people around us. And we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, boys and girls, Today is Good Friday. Today is the day we remember Jesus died on the cross. But it's not the end of the story. The story is to be continued. I'll see you on Sunday.